everyone, because you're all fapping at a camel beauty contest wondering whether Botox makes them look more or less attractive, I've created one minute DCS. This time I'm covering landing in the Huey. Having ripped up your sphincter performing the Navy's most practiced tradition, it's time to find dry land. First of all, let's get the ILS set up. Use the NAVCOM panel on the left hand side and use the inner rotaries to tune the frequency to 110.30 for Batumi. Now use your little knob giggity on the course deviation indicator to set the runway heading to 126 degrees. Set the marker beacon sensor switch to high. Turn on your receiver using the outer left knob on the NAVCOM panel. If you're not lined up with the runway, the vertical bar will appear out of alignment. Now get the fuck off the carrier before the captain makes you slide down his yard arm again. Fly a course perpendicular to the runway heading until the vertical bar starts to drift towards the center. Then turn in. Watch the course deviation indicator and maintain the glide slope. As you approach the runway, begin to pitch up and reduce speed. Add collective to compensate for the change in flight dynamics. Continue the transition from forward flight to stable hover by using collective and cyclic judiciously. Bring her to a full stop using your cyclic and anti-torque. Set her down gently and don't set a stupidly high crosswind like I did. This brings me to the end of this series and coincidentally to the end of the 1.5 branch. As you can tell, choppers are not my first love, but I've had immense fun learning the Huey and I hope you've learned something too. If you've learned nothing else, I hope you've learned that sailors will stick it in anything, animal, mineral, vegetable, alive or dead. On that note, we say a fond farewell to 1.5. I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below. See you soon in something new.